Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Eki. My name is Eki and Conversations with Eki is a talk show that showcases individuals that are striving in their careers and in their businesses. And today guys, we have a beautiful guest. Her name is Talula Doherty Adetona. She is a media personality and an entrepreneur. She helps women um, strive in their finance, in their careers and their businesses. I'm so excited about this particular shit guys because you're going to learn a lot, a lot. So guys, let's welcome Talula. So guys, we have Talula here with yeah. us. Thank you so much Talula for coming That's on okay. my show. Thank you. Yeah. We really want to know you Talula. Like, we know that you're Talula. <laughs> <laughs> so please can you like tell us a bit about yourself, like your background, like sure. where did you school, where did you grow up? Like you can even share with us like a fondest um, childhood memory. Like don't sure. give us sweet juice. Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't even have a lot of sweet juice, but well, I will do. tell you a bit about me. Um, yeah. So I am a TV host and entrepreneur. Okay. I used to host uh, Moments, um, Moments Nigeria on Ebony Life TV. Okay. I've also hosted a load of shows on Spice TV as well. And now I'm a freelance host and I run my businesses. I've got two businesses: uh, Wow Nails, which is a nail salon, and Confessi Beauty, which is a beauty retailer. Uh, our main product is press on nails, but we also do like lashes, we do lip glosses, um, eyebrow pencils, a whole host of products. So that's my business side. My personal side, I'm also Nigerian, I'm Yoruba. Yoruba girl. Hey. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from um, Lagos, Lagos. Doherty is oh, really? the Lagos family. Okay. Yes, yes, right. yes. Yeah. Um, but also, I grew up in the UK. Okay. So I moved there when I was about 9, 10, and I stayed there up until eight years ago. Up until I was an adult, basically. So that means you did, basically did like your um, high school and university yes. there. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Wow. So I loved it. I love living in the UK. I love the structure. Well, I love well, the fact well, that. So uh, when you moved back to Nigeria, like, or oh, what made you move back to Nigeria? So I was just curious about Nigeria. Before I moved back, okay. I moved to, when I left the UK. Actually, I moved to New York first. So I lived in the States oh. for about um, eighteen months. Oh. And I was just having one of those, you know, I was just in a stage of my life then where I wanted to travel, explore, okay, understand explore. different okay. cultures. And I'd never, since I was very young, I'd not lived in Nigeria. I just would come maybe mm. on a two week holiday, go back. Mm. So let me just try, you know. And you know how when you come at Christmas, it's very sweet. It's sweet Christmas, now. it's parties. <laughs> Dirty ah, hey, sweet. Oh, so no. I think I came for one particular Dirty December where I was like, what? Hey. I was I, I, I must come and try just taste a little bit of nigeria yeah. for a little while it's it, it's Are amazing you can you imagine i'll be enjoying it ah uh, well i don't so know what to god say <laughs> you give god the glory okay so like okay so what did you study in school like what school did you attend or what did you study in school yeah i attended what do you like to do for fun Okay, that's a lot. Um, yeah. I studied uh, literature at okay. university. I went to UCL in the UK. Okay. But then afterwards, I realized what can you really do with English literature? It just it means you can write essays and you can read books. But what work can, can you get? You can be a teacher. No, I didn't want to be a teacher. Okay. So I decided to do my postgrad in journalism, oh, okay. which is uh, so what I do now. I'm a host. Yeah. I was also I worked as a journalist in the UK as well before I moved back. Okay. So that worked out quite well for me, thank God. Um, nice. In terms of fun, what do I like to do for fun? I'm quite an easygoing person. I like pampering. Mm. So I like uh, going to the spa, hey. you know, getting massages, Soft facials, life. and then like karaoke. I like going to karaoke with my friends. I love seeing mm. people like singing. I love to sing. I can't sing very well, but <laughs> I enjoy it. Voices. Even with bad voices, I just like the vibe. So karaoke. Yeah. I like things like all those like paint and sip, you know, mm. when you're painting and then things like that, basically. I'm quite a relaxed person. And also Netflix and chill. I think. Always Netflix and chill. I do that almost every day. So yeah, okay. with my husband, do Netflix and chill. Yeah. My hobby. Okay. So um, yeah. Hala is a businesswoman. Like um, she has different businesses. She's like she mentioned already. She's a TV host. She's a media personality. So like, can you tell us about your business and what you do for for your business? Like. Sure. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. So my businesses, um, I started up my nail salon about seven years ago. Wow. And then, yeah, when I first moved back, well, a year after. And then my beauty brand about it was in 2017, I started. 17, 18, 19. Oh my God, it's like four, four years plus. Wow, yeah. time flies. Yeah. yeah so basically, um, I have a team that helped me out. So I have someone who does like social media and um, helps with my influencer marketing. Mm -hmm. I have someone who does the processing of the orders. There's about two people that do that. 
um, and then I have people who just basically help me with my logistics so getting okay. in my products I get my products in from China to yeah. let people do their products yeah. um, so it helped me helps me liaise with my agent in China with my suppliers in China logistics team, right? yes 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 so it's been going really well I love my my online business I love because I've had you know, my it was my nail salon. I've had four locations. Oh, uh, had like four physical shops. Four physical shops. Yes, I used to have a shop in Lucky wow. Phase One on Admiralty, mm -hmm. um, at Posh Plaza. If anyone knows where that is, mm -hmm. um, a shop in Vi on I just said go at the Palms Mall. Wow. In Vi, and then at the uh, local airport. And I made I've done business, so I know the ins and outs, and I know that having a physical location for your business is extremely tiring. I mean. There were so many issues, there's a lot of overheads, and then sometimes you end up, you know, taking profits from, you know, the performing stores to plug like, the gaps yeah, in the like underperforming shops. Mm. So it can be very difficult, and that's why now I only have one physical location, which is okay. at the Palms Mall. Okay. So if you want to get your nails done, please check yeah, out Wow yeah, Nails yeah. at the Palms yeah, Mall. The Thank you very much. So yeah, so I feel like with my business, my cosmetics business, it's online, and that's a lot easier for me to manage. Mm -hmm. And also my profits are a lot more consistent because my overheads are sort of fixed. You know, with the physical location, they can say, uh, with the nail salon, for example, oh, the water heater stopped working, yeah, the generator is bad, we have to repair this, this change uh, this. Yes, there's so many. Yeah. And even if you're paying service charge, if you're on a plaza, they can say the service charge has gone up by X, Y, Z percent at any moment. Wow. And there's not much you can do. You just have to pay. Okay. Whereas when you're online, you know, you you know, okay, this is how much, how many stuff you have. Yeah. This is how much you're paying to, you know, maybe run your um, online ads. Um, or whatever else. Is media marketer and yes, and yes, but it's quite fixed. Yeah. So I really prefer um, online or digital businesses. I'd recommend anyone who's watching, who's thinking of starting a side hustle. I think if you're if you're gonna have one location, it's okay for um, you know what's it called, uh, physical location businesses. Mm -hmm. Or if you have um, a very strong manager that you can entrust, mm -hmm. then that's fantastic. But if not, you can always start it's online. It's not easy to find good people to work yeah, with. Yeah, it can be it can be challenging. <laughs> yeah. So um. What inspired you? Like, you are so determined. You're, you're a business, and you've been doing it for so long. Like, yeah. What inspired you to basically like start? I know, like you mentioned, you 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 did a bit of journalism. You were a media person. So, like, what was the shift for you? Was there any light bulb moment that you said, okay, I want to go into beauty? I'm yeah. studying beauty products. Like, what inspired you to basically start your business? That's a great question. So, what inspired me is that I like I like to have a steady stream of income. So, with the media business. Um, sometimes you, your stream of income may not always be steady. You may shoot one show, mm -hmm. you know, one month, and they'll pay you a lump sum. But then they might not call you back to shoot another show for another six months, uh, six months three months. So mm -hmm. I like having a steady stream. So mm -hmm. I like having money coming in every day. I believe in um, daily bank. Uh, I let. I want to see. Even I don't care how much. Let it just be. Yeah, that sound is so sweet. I love that. So that yeah. definitely inspired me. And I also love beauty. I'm a lover of beauty. Mm -hmm. I am quite a simple person that I don't wear makeup every day. But when I do wear makeup, I want to look nice and I want to use quality products. Yeah. And also, I love nails. I'm a nail person. Yeah, um, nice yeah, thank you. Yeah. I like feeling. My nails make me feel put together. So I thought I can take you know something I have a passion for mm -hmm. and I can make a business out of it. And I believe in. I believed in it. I think that's really important. Like you have to believe in what you're doing. If you yeah. don't believe in what you're doing, yeah. it'll be hard for you to yeah. to sell it or to convince mm -hmm. other people. But I wear my products all the time, you know, and people I compliment you. Uh, yeah, this is it. I do this. Yes, exactly. You have yeah. to be a billboard for your products yeah. and you have to be proud of what you do. That's what I would tell everybody. I see some people who have businesses and they have great products uh, or great services, but they don't advocate for their business. They're a little bit shy. If you ask them what they do, oh, I do this, but I also do this no so i do this confidently, confidently. Yes, no. yes let people mm -hmm. see that um you know that you you this believe in like, yourself the, the thing about running a business or being a business owner like people can see the passion in you they can yes see the drive in you like you can't be running a business and then you're just all calm and like open your mouth and speak about your product where your product like let your product be doing its marketing on your body exactly i agree <laughs> and another thing i want to say about that is that you need to be very good at customer service because i feel like in nigeria a lot of businesses are just so terrible mm -hmm. terrible i've ordered from online vendors maybe it's clothes or whatever and then maybe it doesn't fit in the black ah, well that's your business like, you, you bought it you bought it we don't do refunds i'm like if i'm, okay. I'm i don't want a refund maybe i just want you to fix the zip or fix something mm -hmm. and they're just not interested in doing again. that they don't reply again and for me i think that's so short-sighted mm -hmm. because i really believe in repeat customers all of my customers yeah. um who patronize my business are repeat customers mm -hmm. and it's it's better that way they're happy with you I, anybody can make a mistake yeah. in their business right yeah, yeah they come back and they refer so i feel like it's not the making a mistake or have bad zip or whatever the issue is mm -hmm. it's the willingness to go the extra mile to fix it's that true. thing and 
and therefore ensure customer loyalty that's going to help and you grow like, exactly you know, like, a lot of people struggle with finance yeah. people especially business owners mm-hmm. they they don't know how to they just have issues with money like they don't have any money management skills so they struggle with i you know like we're running businesses money is cocoa like yeah cannot, money is cocoa definitely <laughs> finance well there's most like it's most likely that your business will not strive you know so like can you yeah. give us any tips about money management about finance you know like maybe with savings and investing yeah. like what has helped you like just share with us so we can learn yeah <laughs> definitely I, I love this question because i was one of those business owners yeah. that struggled with my finances mm-hmm. i would get money i would spend it i would get it i would spend it i would make a lot of profit and then at the end of the month or end of the year i'd be like where's my profit where's my where's money gone money? to i don't know i can't answer the question <laughs> you know like. so i believe it starts with number one being intentional okay. saying to yourself look i'm going to make money and i'm going to see the fruits of my labor hmm. oh there's a book i Receipt. want to yes i want to make money I'm see the fruits of money. my labor you're going to make money and you're going to see the fruit of your labor I'll exactly see the money i'll hold the money yes. i'll use the money exactly exactly <laughs> and i read a lot of books that helped me with my money mindset i think money mindset is a big thing one of them is the richest man in babylon it okay. talks about you know how wealth is not the money you you see mm-hmm. or the money you spend it's the money you have mm-hmm. so right now if i have um a million dollars even more than that 20 million dollars yes. i'm speaking into Amen. existence 20 million dollars <laughs> yeah. in assets yeah. or in my bank account mm-hmm. that means i'm wealthy mm-hmm. but if i take like my 20 million dollars and i go out and spend it mm-hmm. oh no that's not if i take maybe 18 and i spend it on something yeah. then my wealth has reduced right so we need to think about wealth mm-hmm. and how we can balance wealth with also being um having a nice life a soft life right because we don't want to have those money in the bank and then just do nothing just be sitting at home I mean, and be suffering, be suffering. <laughs> say i can't drink fanta it's only water i can't because take. i'm saving money because i'm saving money i don't like that thing no yeah. no no i don't like it <laughs> we, we don't want to suffer but you also don't yeah. want to be um reckless selfish to yourself. selfless yeah we don't, we don't want to be reckless with our money so mm-hmm. money mindsets you know reading books that have helped me with that but also investing saving and investing and i think this is something it's just you know we were talking about it a little bit before yeah. that i feel like it's a spiritual thing in that it's a money, you money. know what to do but to do it is a problem right you know like <laughs> you have to just like being disciplined with money is one is the hardest thing it's, to do, yes right? it's really I'm, you know what i really have learned is that people say that they've oh you just do this just do that but no it's, it's not, not like easy. that it's not that easy so you have to force prepare yourself for to it, like prepare for it mentally. yeah mentally and so one thing i do is that whenever i have i know i'm going to earn a certain amount of money yeah. whether i have um a tv hosting gig or i'm yeah. shooting a show that they're going to give me a bulk amount of money yeah. i plan for the money not that i don't spend the money no i plan i say when this money is um when okay. this money comes i'm going to allocate it to this this and this so when it comes you know there's not that temptation to like oh i've put i've, I've screenshotted some things from instagram some nice <laughs> shoes buy, and bags buy this dress. exactly exactly so basically like you are planning for your money even before it comes yes so that because you know that thing when a lot hits your phone is that yeah. that time you say hey yeah. let me buy this let me buy yes this, yes so when you have that mindset to plan ahead, yes even way before it comes it yes helps you exactly and mm-hmm. even if it's the things you want i have a list on my phone called the wish list they're all the things i want mm-hmm. but if i if i know i'm getting you know a good amount of money coming in what i'll do is i'll first plan my savings and investments okay. so i'll plan my emergency fund which i do through piggy vest it's like uh you know you have that auto save where you can save yeah. maybe it's 1k 5k whatever you want every day every week or every month so i really have that going on but i'll plan to put extra into my emergency savings yeah. secondly i'll plan you know what to put into my invest investment so i can keep growing my investments yeah. so i feel like investments are passive income that's money that's growing without so you having to do anything yeah. which is so nice because think of like you know as you're growing older maybe when you hit you know 40 50 60 mm-hmm. your money has that's already been it. working so it's not yeah. you're always working <laughs> you're not tired you get tired at your points now we're all human beings so yeah. you know having those savings and investments and people get scared right and i used to be scared and i think it's so important to talk about it to normalize talking about the fact that ah, where do i even start i don't know where to start me too i do not know where to start right i know with investment like i from my from um, my personal experience i really think that oh you need big money to big invest. money yeah if you don't have these millions you cannot invest in yeah your, like it's not true you can start especially now we're so privileged Mm -hmm. to live in a day and time where we have all these investment apps Mm -hmm. and you know we have um other ways i don't want to say crypto i don't know if crypto is legal in nigeria it's not legal Mm -hmm. anyway there's other ways to save 
So it's important to find out about those things. For, we have Instagram, mm -hmm. we have TikTok. Follow people on TikTok who are talking about savings and investments. You know, I know there's Bamboo. I personally save. I don't. I'm not sponsored by them, but I buy stocks and shares on the Bamboo app. Yeah. I do savings on the um, Piggy yeah. Vest app, and you know, and just get around like-minded yeah, people. Just leverage technology and all the different yes things that leverage technology and oh, leverage yeah. your circle i feel like because as women you know a lot of i have a lot of um female friends a lot of male friends mm -hmm. and i feel like with my male friends we talk about money more like oh i'm doing this investment mm -hmm. i'm doing that and then i'll be like eh, how are you doing mm -hmm. it you know but with women even if we're doing an investment and if we come and see our friend mm -hmm. you may think our friend may not want to talk about that like maybe we just want to talk about hair makeup yeah, our children really our families kind of yes we well. need to normalize it i have a oh i'm gonna add you you're not in this group i'm gonna add you to my group oh my god <laughs> i have a group on whatsapp uh, okay. which is a lot of my uh, female friends who are into um investing and okay. saving and just knowing about opportunities mm -hmm. for doing those things mm -hmm. and we come together and we exchange ideas and there's so many things i've learned just from being in that group you know there's some oh there's this investment maybe my sister-in-law is doing this is how it works and because we all trust each other i know that i don't feel anyone's gonna you know, you know rope into like a scam right. situation yeah, yeah, yeah. or it's going to try and take advantage of me so with your friends say you guys this yeah, year yeah. let's take our money seriously mm -hmm. even if the person is not an entrepreneur even if they have a nine to five job yeah. or whatever it is let's come together let's talk about how we can okay. save a certain amount and work. grow and i'm not yeah. talking about the agile where you bring this person no, yeah. i'm not talking about that too <laughs> i think you should be in control of your own money i didn't like yeah. those types of investments personally everyone's different yeah. i didn't like them because i can't be in control of my money yeah. i want to be i want to log yeah. into my I'm app and see my not that I have to call yes, KD, yes. that is me, bad one, to check my balance for me. No, <laughs> take responsibility. Oh Women, we need to take responsibility for our oh finances. Yeah. Stop thinking my husband will do it, my sister will do it, my daddy will do it, my mommy will do it. No, you have to, take you know, charge. take charge and believe again, again this believe in yourself thing is deep. Believe that you can because a lot of reasons we don't do it sometimes is that we feel. Do I even have the capability to do this thing? Yeah. Will I even know how? Let me just leave it. Yes, and I'm here to encourage and inspire that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm even getting sad, but that we can do. I'm sorry yeah. because it's it's really only a couple of years ago that I started taking yeah. all these things seriously because I was, uh, you know, because I have you know different streams of income from my businesses yeah. to my um, TV work. Yeah. I would see money, I would spend money, but it took really a mindset shift for me to realize that I need mm -hmm. to. Be saving and investing and it's my responsibility, responsibility. i can't push it to anybody else yeah. you know because i think a lot of us sometimes when we're broke we're like oh i'll just tell my husband i'm broke he'll give me mm. i'll just tell my brother i'm broke he'll give me or my sister mm. no you shouldn't be broke there's no reason to be broke in 2020 if you are working and if you are of age yeah. it's really how you spend your money and you know one thing sorry i know i'm talking a lot but one thing that really helped me is i was learning I'm so happy about that. Is <laughs> yeah. I I started with one k a day because I, I just want to try it. Like, oh, if one k a day leaves my account, mm -hmm. will I miss it? I don't think I'll really miss it. You know, I can go out and spend it on a drink or something. So let me just try with that amount. Mm -hmm. And you know, just the knowledge that one k a day in a year is three hundred and sixty five k. If a I lot of money that is a good amount of money, struggle. you didn't struggle and you didn't even know. You didn't even what stress yourself. Saving? And even if it's two hundred naira a day, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is, just it's all about the habit. It's not really about the amount. That's what i've learned build the habit and building the habit is like going to the gym it's like a muscle you're building a muscle build that habit so you now and from there once you've done that you can tick it off okay that's one habit you built yeah. then you build another habit then another habit and before you know you know there's this quote that i love but it's, it talks about all you have to do is be one percent better every day you have to be ten percent better you have to be fifty percent better one one percent is like it's like this you guys you it's so small every day so that's very important like that shift so like, <laughs> i'm just i feel like i've learned so much already. yeah i'm so pleased wow okay so um as an entrepreneur like what gives you the most satisfaction what gives me the most satisfaction as an entrepreneur yeah. is knowing that something that i had in my imagination a thought an idea mm -hmm. that one day just came to me by the grace of god and um i maybe brainstormed about and i planned about has come i can see it it, it makes me so 
Give like joy, like joy joy joyful yeah it makes me so joyful and that you know even more than that that somebody i don't know this person from anywhere has decided to use their hard-earned money nigeria is tough you guys it's hard to earn money. it is tough you know you used your hard-earned money that you sat down and, and you bought from me and you you put it into my business and you trusted me especially with an online business that i'm going to be able to deliver the goods or services to your satisfaction and then when that person comes back and buys again and again i think I can't describe the feeling. It's an amazing feeling. And I think that it's just something, you know, it, it, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift. So I think, you know, entrepreneurs, we shouldn't take it for granted that people are patronizing our businesses, that people believe in us, that people support it's not us. Even everybody that gets orders. Like some people are exactly. and they don't even make, they don't make sales at all. Yes, like, at all. Yeah. Okay, so what are the principles and values that have kept you so far, like that has helped you shape your business into what it has become? Today? Okay. Great question. Um, integrity is one of my guiding principles. I think, you know, you have to put yourself in your customer's shoes. If, you know, you send something out, any, I always say anybody can make a mistake, but it's to rectify the mistake that's most important. So if you send something out to your customer and maybe there's a fault or there's an issue, or I mean, not just a complaint like, oh, I maybe, um, oh, I changed my mind. That's, that's not a valid complaint. I'm sorry, you can't change your mind. You saw what you wanted and you ordered it. But if there's a fault or a defect, going that extra mile to compensate your customer or to say you know what i'm going to um make send, sure yeah i'll send a dispatch to collect the product make sure you're satisfied i'm going to sort it out mm -hmm. i'm going to be you can contact me these are my customer care numbers mm -hmm. our customer care numbers are on um, our instagram mm -hmm. there's instagram dm there's email so making those channels available i think you know for people to be able there's two-way communication it's not yeah. just you say you are my customer you're going to have this no it's got to be a two-way street so yeah. integrity is really really important to me mm -hmm. and then also providing quality products i think sometimes quality. because of the way the economy is in nigeria i don't blame people, people there's already like products um the quality is already people reduced. want to sell cheap people want to sell cheap people want, <laughs> if, if, if you can sell for one naira my sister this is one naira they want to buy and i think that's okay if maybe your product costs 30 kobo or 40 kobo you can sell no i'm serious but if it doesn't you have to stick to your guns in terms of like I'm going to provide a quality product. I this is the I'm amount. Yes. I'm going to have a profit margin. Yes. And that's what I'm going to do. And you can't let anybody pressure you. If I'm selling, for example, if I'm selling this nail set for 4,000, that's yes. how much it costs. And someone else decides they want to sell it for 1,000. I cannot go and say, I want to sell it for 1,000. Because that's below my cost price. I know how much I source all my yes. items. And also all my, you know, you have um, miscellaneous costs, your marketing costs, yes. um, all your other costs that are. Allah is teaching us how to pack. Uh, no, yeah, I, I learned from you. You are the pricing, <laughs> you are the pricing guru. Oh, so it. all your costs have to be accounted for. Mm -hmm. Don't price on vibes and Instagram vendors. Oh. I'm begging. You see, I'm, sh I'm shaking because that thing upsets me. Oh, you can't right. do it. Oh, Inkechi has sent you on Let let let, 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 let Inkechi not me, take let, my customers. Let me in fact, if she wants to take customers, she should take them because you cannot be doing charity. You yeah. are in business and you know how much. Yes. And also, you know where you're sourcing from. Yeah. Maybe they're sourcing from somewhere cheaper, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe and if they I mean, can guarantee cost, the quality, their cost might not even be as much. Like they're, they might have a shop in Abulegba. Exactly. Exactly. You know, the cost is too exactly. Expensive. And also maybe <laughs> they have their uncle or a cousin who is shipping things already and they're not paying shipping yeah. costs they just say okay let me use your ship i just mm -hmm. add your you don't know people's circumstances so yeah. stop it stop associate stop um aligning yourself to their yeah. own circumstances you cannot know you know you cannot know. maybe they're just doing it i don't know i don't want to so speculate even doing business I don't know. Business for the fun of it. Okay, this person is even let me mm. also do business. They yeah. don't even really care about the cost. Yeah. They're making money. Whatever. Exactly. It exactly. does not concern so, them. So, in a nutshell, I just think price according to you know your own Project. structure, your own Project. product, and how you're going to make a healthy profit margin. Because mm -hmm. the truth is, if you don't make a healthy profit margin, you will soon go out of business. Mm -hmm. And those people will not be around to be telling you sorry. Yeah. Who's going to tell you sorry? Uh, your loved ones okay and you'll be not sad so not the instagram vendors yeah. so do what makes sense for you for that's my for your business right. yeah as a business owner i know that you must have faced or you face different challenges every day because challenges is part of life yeah but like can you just share with us like 
one or two challenges that you faced as a business owner especially people that are watching this video and they're looking to go into like the beauty space like sure what you're doing uh they want to learn from your experience yeah of course of course mm -hmm. so one of the main challenges i faced when i first started mm -hmm. um until about a few years back is getting the right people getting the right staff and mm -hmm. you know getting people who are committed and willing to learn because as a business owner you have your own vision for how you want to run your business and you need people who are able to buy into that vision yeah, and, and who are able to be consistent and to stick with you sometimes people will come mm -hmm. they'll be good but maybe they'll leave because there's a position paying a bit more money or maybe they want to go and do their own yes yeah, it's really been a struggle to find and retain the right staff mm -hmm. and you know i also i also you know say one thing which is that you know the people you get they don't have to be the best when you get them they can but they have to have the potential and the willingness to learn for me the willingness right. to learn mm -hmm. and the willingness to like come to work on time you know look neat and um, be serious that is just so important even sometimes more important than the ability because anybody can get the ability if they are yeah, smart enough yeah. but some people are just so laid back they say they may come back ah, they something happened mm. the i didn't the boss no was late no challenge they don't I, Oh, I just have to. I always lay on the table. Right? They don't want to work, and it's so yeah. stressful well, they because want to make the money. exactly. And as a business owner, you really can't do everything yourself. So you need the right, right people, people, the right hands, who are going to be able to support you. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Getting the right people. Getting the right people. The second thing is sometimes I feel as a business owner, and I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this strain. Sometimes you just feel like everything is in your head. You know, especially in a country like Nigeria, where there's so many factors mm -hmm. that. Um, can fail you know in my business maybe if it's a logistics you know company they they right. can just say they're raising their price tomorrow and for example if the delivery was maybe 1000 I say and hey, we're raising it to one four and I can't pass that cost on to my customer number one I don't sell luxury goods I sell um, you know beauty items you know they're very affordable mm -hmm. from 3,000 4,000 upwards yeah. So I can't ask someone to pay an extra, you know, 400 or 500 naira. It, they're going to not want to patronize my business, right? So those are factors that can destabilize businesses really, really quickly. And, you know, you have no control. So one thing I do is I, I try and have options. I might have maybe three logistics companies that I work with. So if one, don't just stick to one person. If one person says, I want to raise my price by 500 naira, you say, look for somebody else, you know? So always try and have options so you're not caught off guard mm -hmm. always try to think ahead always try to plan make sure you're not good at planning because not everybody's good at planning i had to learn how to plan you know not partner with somebody but get somebody who's a friend or a family member who's good at planning who you can sit with like i always say um there's different types of currency it's not just money money <laughs> money money you guys stop it it's not just money there's social currency people who are very sociable who know a lot of different people who they can reach out to at any time you know to get anything they need there is um friendship you know you might have very good friends you know one of my friends uh, Tofumi is an expert marketer yeah. she can help with my marketing yeah. um you eki you're good at structure i can say eki oh yeah please today i'm calling you even happened with mailchimp do you remember that time i yeah. couldn't do my mailchimp i called you then you put me through i didn't have to pay anybody i had eki i just called my friend <laughs> oh yeah that is my uh, that, my friendship currency yeah. so think of different types of currency and you have them everybody i believe has at least three or four types of currency that they can tap into so think of you know who do i have in my circle who are my friends with who do i have in my family that can help me with so so and so and then don't be shy just ask the worst they can say is no if they say no you know what you are in the same position you were in the first place you haven't lost you haven't gained you are in the same spot so do you understand so you really you know you have to have a lot of these things are mindset shifts so work on your mindset read books watch videos on youtube pay i always say this thing please stop being stingy there's a place for free content and there's a place for paid content. Okay. There's so many things I've learned from paid content yeah. that I would not have known that have helped me and continue to help me because once, guess what? Once you have that knowledge, nobody can take that knowledge it's away from own. you. It's they your knowledge for life. Your they can't do it. it. <laughs> they can't try it. You know? So yeah. please stop being stingy. Pay yeah. for, you know, there's so many online, online coaches. You know? yes or even offline training or even courses you can even fly fly go to the uk go to the us even if it's one week in the summer yeah. five days in the summer if you can afford it that is you know yeah. just always try to keep educating yourself never think you know it all never think she'll be i made five million last month she'll be i made three million last okay, month i'm okay go. never be okay <laughs> keep i mean be okay in jesus name that's not what i mean keep what pushing. i mean is keep pushing yourself keep improving yourself, yourself. keep educating yourself you because know? the more you can educate yourself right the more knowledge you can get as a business owner the more you can impact exactly you can impact people you are the business i mean you can 
all this knowledge you're getting you will also put it back into your business and your business will strive and then it will grow and then when the money comes she be you that will stay enjoy the exactly money, you know? so, exactly yeah. and not just that you know another thing is that your business is not just about you yes. your business you are impacting lives the people that you employ guess what you are helping those people Become and better. because also they're helping you because you know it's a two-way street yeah. they they're giving you their their it's time seven. number one that is their life their time i think we forget that it's their time it's their skills it's you know i have one member of staff and she's an amazing nail technician and she's also so warm people love her and they love her not just because she does their nails well because they come and they just with her and she, she smiles yes and that's her currency you know people yeah. like oh, i want this person to do my nails i won't say her name so you don't come and put her but i want this person i want this person you know because she has such a warm aura spirit and personality yeah. about her right yeah. so that person has come she's been with me for almost eight years and recently she just wow. had a baby so you know she's been with me she's been on a journey and now she's a mother and we're still on a journey together so don't think of just your business as yourself i want to buy land i want to buy a house yeah. yes it's great that you can buy land well, and buy a house think about it in the impact, way, the impact. impact yes and also like. try to have um and this is one thing i haven't even incorporated so i don't know why i'm saying it but it's because <laughs> i want to incorporate it yeah. um a giving element to your business even if you say okay from our profits this month mm -hmm. i want to give maybe whatever you can afford to this charity or that charity you know not only is it biblical i think it also helps you it just helps you it helps your business it's you know there's some there's some things that are you know um christian principles and mm -hmm. giving is one of them yeah. so just try to give even if you you can't really afford it whatever even if it's 1k you can't give i know it sounds yeah. small and i'm so sorry i'm always talking about all these small numbers but <laughs> it's that busy, but it's yeah. because Sometimes it starts from small and it grows. You don't know if you give 1K this month, maybe it's 3K you'll give next month. And then by next year, maybe you'll be giving hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Everything starts yes. from somewhere. Yes. Parable of the sower. You have to sow. Yes. Sow yes. the seed. Yes. Even if it's 200 naira you want to give, please just give. Just yeah. do. Just take yeah. that action. You know, I'm so passionate about these things because I just feel like I've just started learning about them recently mm. and, and putting them into practice. I'm seeing a difference. Happening. And you hear about them and you just think, is it not this? And I know now. I'll do it when I'm free. There's no way you're free. Try and do it as soon as you can. Yeah. Try and do it today. Don't let time mm. pass right. you by. Today, today, whatever you need to do, do it now, now, now. Please do, do it today. Uh, okay, so Talila, yeah. what has been, what would you say has been responsible for your success so far? Like, wow. All of this. <laughs> growth that you've achieved everything yeah. you've been able to build over like seven years that you've been running your business is like when yeah. you say okay this has been responsible or this is one of the things that's responsible for my success so far yeah well, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I love this question. I don't really have a clear answer. I think I, mean, I can't even take credit because you know, like it's it's everything. It's everything. It's my family. If they didn't send me to the schools they sent me to, maybe I wouldn't be able to think the way I can think. It's encouragement from my loved ones, you know, my family, my friends. It's also I think having wanting to achieve more and just having this spirit of excellence like i want to do this and i want to do it well mm -hmm. i want to impact people um yeah, i think a lot of it comes from within but it, as, as they say no man is an, no man or woman is an island it's exactly. everything yeah. around me everybody around me i give them all the credit you know i give i give god the ultimate credit and all the things because it starts from somewhere and yeah. even to have an idea to do something it's from so, god you have the idea you have to just be sitting down one day i suddenly will enter into your head and you know i talk to god in lots i don't want to get all spiritual spiritual and it's odd because i don't even feel like in my everyday life i talk like this so much but um you know when i before i started up my product line i had the business the physical locations yeah. before at the time mm -hmm. and i remember being so frustrated oh i was okay i was frustrated <laughs> anybody who has the location can can um, identify with me because i would go to the shop and they would say one of my branches i used to normally go to my lucky branch and they would say ma madam the water heater is not working no the generator is spoiled to a uh, landlord says service charge is going up by this and my. just there was always something and you know you try and put money aside and then before you know the money you try to put aside you used it you back, used it back. yeah something. and i just i know I, I i spoke to god i did and i said god i need just show me another just show me something else i would do because i'm t i'm tired i'm frustrated i was losing weight everything you are so thin what's wrong with you what happened i'm just like it's frustration if you run a business in nigeria you will know what i'm talking about it's not about you guys you have to be real i think one thing that you know women don't sometimes do and even not just women business owners everybody wants to shine i want to go on instagram i want to look like a million bucks i don't want to start telling you that my water heater is having problems and i remove my wig and i'm just like this on the chair i don't want to show you that on instagram it doesn't glorify me perfect 
highlights. Like, yeah, yeah, highlights, you know. <laughs> but the reality is we all face these challenges. Yeah. We know that the environment, you know, we know the environment we live in. And it's really important because of the environment we live in to just to just you know plan like i said and to just you know put certain things in, in place. place and yeah. it's not all about being glitz and glam i know that having the right image also brings certain opportunities so i'm not knocking i'm also i also encourage everybody to cultivate an image to cultivate a personal brand that will yeah. also assist you, you with your business yeah. but at the same time let us as business owners let's all get together as a collective you know i know how much help i get from you and my other friends as well who are in business, we, we talk to each other plainly. And we don't. We just ah, me, I made five million last month. I want to go to the spa. No, it's not about that. Stop it. I mean, it's good if you did. And I, I, I'm encouraging everyone who has made a lot of money to keep making the money. Mm -hmm. But if there's challenges that you're facing, let's say the sweet and the bitter part together. Mm -hmm. Let's not just say the sweet so part. So people don't think that this entrepreneurship journey is just all sweet. No, it's not all sweet. It's, it's, not, all sweet. it's, it's not, not all sweet. All sweet. It's all very sweet. stressful. You can make 10 million and spend 12 million. Mm -hmm. You know, even I have a friend who was telling me the other day that she you know, she imports things as well from China. She told me that they told her she went from paying, I think maybe like 800,000 in to clear her goods um, to they told her that her clearing bill was 3.2 million. 3.2 from 800k where so is that all her profit or what where would the money come from and if she doesn't pay that she's not going to get her goods right so that is wow. that is a headache that she has had to deal with so let's talk about it let's normalize it let's not make it seem as if you know as if it's such a strange thing on me i don't know i don't face that no we all face different yeah. challenges and you know talking and about it means we can help each other this is what i did this is what i did from mm -hmm. there we learn and we get answers and, and that's one reason why i'm doing this like right so people can see because we're learning yeah. from our success and our failures. exactly it's not all rosy like if someone is watching this video and is learning okay this is how i should do this is how i should do that you know okay so tell us that like we yeah Basically, right, there are people that are watching this video right now that want to go into the beauty space, that also want to be like a media personality. Like, what advice do you have for these people? Like, give them advice for free. Just because you're here on Conversations with Eddie, just yeah. give it to them for free. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> Let me be charging you. Know. Yeah, I'm just teasing. Today. I'm just teasing. Okay, yeah. so advice, okay, I guess there's two different bits of advice. So, for people yeah. who want to go into business, yeah. I would say um, start with what you have. And I know it's so cliche. To start with what you have even if you can save up uh whatever i don't want to say an amount because yeah. i don't want to pigeonhole anybody yes. i know different people have different circumstances right so i respect that and i think just start with whatever you have just start guys just start. just start even if you can't afford to import because sometimes with importation there's a, like i said the shipping cost and all yeah. of that you can find a local supply i know people who yeah. have local suppliers people who've really shipped I mean, yeah, they put they put small money yeah. on it. You buy from your local yeah. supplier, and then you yeah. resell. Or if it's clothing you want to do, hit up Eki. Eki <laughs> is the queen of all this. Oh, she helped no. me when I had it. I used to have a clothing brand. Eki helped me. So yeah, yeah. Um, reach out people who are you know Already in your in, in, in your vicinity yeah. to help you, and just start. If you, you know, with human beings, I think we're always waiting for one perfect magic uh, moment. Yes, or one perfect amount of money to hit. It's when I save one million, I'm going to start. No, the money that you say we won't be reducing it will be reducing <laughs> because it's something will always happen to come yeah. you know i have many businesses i even have some that i don't even talk about yeah. and um i started them all with you know what i have at the moment i don't wait until i have the perfect mm -hmm. amount because guess what you're not a guru whatever you're starting with you're learning on the job you you're going to make yeah. mistakes you make you're going mistakes. to stumble you're going to fall so you're going so to start you again to be perfect and Just sometimes it, it's even better when you have plenty of money because you make mistakes on a small, small scale coffee, and yeah. then you learn and then when you do get more money you're able to scale better mm -hmm. when you have a lot of money sometimes you just you want to spend money and i say it's sweet you say, it's let sweet. me hire let this, me this so, so personal let me buy this and so yeah. equipment and maybe you don't need that equipment at that very time mm -hmm. you need to start small and then maybe when you get to a point where your customer orders are more mm -hmm. even start with when i started in my product business mm -hmm. i just used to pack the orders myself because i didn't really mm -hmm. have that many orders and i didn't you know it was a new business so that i was making really really good money with my nail salons yeah. uh with my product business I would, I would in the mornings i would just pack the order the dispatch would come to my house and pick the order you. who's going to know <laughs> nobody's gonna like that me no one's gonna know yeah. um you know i had and branded bags and everything exactly but so it, just that. 
just start but nothing i would say even though just like don't just start in any rubbishy way you need to <laughs> no because it's, it's a, it's a two-sided thing you need yeah. to present a professional front because if, we, if you want people to, to take, take you seriously directly. take yourself seriously yeah. present yourself it's like it's like if um you know eki as you know with your businesses yeah. if you didn't have you know um branded um boxes and mm -hmm. all of that you just said let me just get one random box mm -hmm. people will just say oh, what is this brand they're not really are they really a brand yeah. you know so it's, it's a two-sided thing starts you know small but start well yeah. start well let get people the knowledge, get the knowledge research yes mm -hmm. talk to people my the one, yeah. one thing i always do is talk to people if you're not that good at researching just you know, ask someone to connect you. Do you know someone who's done this business? If let you do, please let me just have a phone, even just a 10 minute phone call with them. I just mm -hmm. want to talk to them, you know. Yeah. So just do it that way. And, you know, most of all, demand respect. There's Canva. Yeah, there's Canva where you can do templates. Tofumi yeah. told me about Canva. Tofumi, shout out to you. There's uh, there's different different things you can do. These days we are in a digital age. We must take advantage. People ten years ago did not have all the things we have to do. And so if us, exactly. So for us to be sitting down looking is actually a bit of a slight to mm. people who came before us who could have done so much but and didn't have. In all the things that exactly. And look at us here. We're sitting here. We have the internet. We have a uh, TikTok. You can okay, do free marketing. We have LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. We have all the apps mm -hmm. from uh, InShots to uh, I said Canva to which app do I use for my business? Uh, invoicing apps like Wave. Yes. We have so much. Apps. In fact, it's, it's, it's tiredness that will kill you when you're researching <laughs> because there's too many things from bamboo to piggy vest oh, to uh, there's Kuda. Is Kuda no? Kuda is not saving. Trove. That's another mm -hmm. savings app. Um, is this Shark out? Oh, I'm plenty. tired. There's, there's plenty. Okay, you know how you have me on camera just talking too much today. But my point is, there everything is out there. Just yeah. to research and, then and use, to implement. Make, make use of all of these things. Don't just research and leave it there. <laughs> yeah, don't just research and yeah. leave it. Another, another tip I want to give people. There's this app I use called Medium. It's an article where people, uh, oh, an app yeah, where people can, you told me about it. yes, yeah. publish different articles. Mm -hmm. That's also a good way to mm -hmm. research. You know, there's mm -hmm. a free version. I think on the free version you can read maybe four articles a month but on the paid version which is about 2k a month you can read an unlimited amount of articles mm -hmm. so even if you don't want to use the paid one use the free one mm -hmm. whatever you're interested in doing you can be like Research. whatever business just type it into the medium mm -hmm. search you know and it Get gives you more information so that's so really been one, great one thing, I, one thing i've realized is that nigerians are lazy to do the work like yes you need this information you need knowledge you need to equip yourself with this knowledge to be better at your business but you are lazy you just yeah. want to think that it will just happen like that yeah you don't yeah. want to do the work you just want to like, arrive yeah. you have to do the work you know yeah. so thank you so much Talila. Yeah. like i've learned so much from you like yes you're welcome. Welcome. sorry i need to say one more thing i'm just i'm talking so much today you guys yeah i'm sorry you <laughs> the only thing but i just want to buttress your point that even yeah. you don't want to do the work because yeah. sometimes it's let's, let's not take away from the fact that it can be very time consuming mm -hmm. get in a community yes. join it even mm -hmm. if you know those communities on telegram and whatsapp mm -hmm. some are free some are paid join the community people as they're talking say, even if you don't know the person mm -hmm. sorry sis so and so or yeah. bro so and so please uh can you explain this to me can i get into your dm can you explain yeah. it to me i feel like people are quite generous with their time if you approach them respectfully mm -hmm. and you ask so get into a community and you know leverage, therefore yeah. leverage other this. people that way it's quick because sometimes it's also a time maybe you know we can't blame people they have so much going on from work to family to different responsibilities so it might not be easy to spend to devote one or two hours a day to start researching mm -hmm. but it's easy to just quickly type oh please can you explain this to me mm -hmm. and sometimes you know when you research it's in a long-winded way it's quite hard to digest but if someone is just talking to yeah, you and explaining it you'll get it fast way. fast fast and you know, fast learning is another thing i'm sorry i'm done thank you so much for having me Aki. i had a fantastic so time thank you so much <laughs> for being here so guys i hope that you've learned You've taken that all the notes, everything that Allah has shared today. You've learned and learned and learned and learned and learned. Thank you so much for watching. Thank I've had you. a good time talking Thanks, to you. Becky. And I've learned a lot as well. I'm you so know, happy. especially with the money management part, you know. So guys, if you did, if you enjoyed watching this video, you already know what to do. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. And then Talula <laughs> also has um, a YouTube channel. Yes, well. it's Talula Glossy, all you know, one word. Same yeah, as my please. Instagram handle. Subscribe. Yes, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, patronize all our businesses, you know, like we just need to support each other like no man is an island we need all the support that we can get so please i'm just going to put all the handles please subscribe and follow and patronize thank you so much for thank watching you. and i'll see you guys in my next video Hi. ah thank you so much I like that's thank okay you. thank you my darling thank you. <laughs> okay thank you oh, thank you you're talking with so much power it's too high. I don't understand myself. <laughs>
I'm not seen that. I don't even understand myself today. I don't even talk this much on another day. You guys will kill me. Let's finish. So, and you gave me something, no, Jesus. I, she gave me.